memorial and remove the True Sun's forces. If they maintain this outpost, the True Sun's will be a direct threat to the campus. What's going on everybody? It's Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer and this is not going to be a long video, but I was out farming for the Chameleon Exotic Assault Rifle and it started showing up for me on this farm. So I quickly set out to make this video. So first up, I'm gonna show you where I started to get it to drop and then I will quickly give you a breakdown on the weapon itself and my initial impressions. Okay, so I know that many players out there have been hitting those bounties and while I have heard about success stories using this method, it has not worked for me. Now I've tried every type of bounty from normal on up and even attempted to specifically target black tusk bounties and even bounties that featured assault rifle drops and nothing has worked for me. So I took a look at the map today and assault rifles were the targeted gear on the Lincoln Memorial mission. And so I decided to give it a shot and man, did it pan out. In about one and a half hours of farming this mission, I landed a couple of decent gear pieces, three honey badgers, one or two invisible hands, and two chameleon drops, all while running this mission solo on challenge difficulty. Now FYI, both of my chameleons dropped on the very first battle with the True Sons on this mission, and so I just kept replaying it over and over. I mean, you could play the entire rest of the mission, and that is where I landed the Honey Badgers, but like I said, both times the Chameleon dropped for me, it was less than a minute into this mission. So get out there and get yourself one of these exotic assault rifles as quickly as possible. Now, while I'm at it, I wanted to take a brief moment to explain how this exotic weapon works and more specifically how it builds damage stacks, because you need to know this if you want to do as much damage as possible. When you have the chameleon equipped and aiming down the sights, you are going to see these three hexagons on the left side of the weapon, and those are the indicators for your damage stacks. The weapon talent Adaptive Instincts rewards you with crit hit chance and crit hit damage for landing 30 headshots, and that is the upper of the three hexagons. Hitting 60 body shots grants you 100% weapon damage, and that is the middle hexagon, and the lower hexagon shows how many lag shots you have achieved towards the 30 needed for 150% reload speed. As you land shots to one of these three specific areas on a target, the hexagons will fill up, and once full, that is when the buff will proc. And yes, in theory, you could have all three buffs active at the same time. I paired the Chameleon with my Headshot Weapon Damage build, and overall, it works pretty well. Now, I still need more time with it to make a thorough decision if I will use it full time in the role of replacing my Eagle Bearer, but for now, it seems like a good weapon, especially when you get the Weapon Damage buff to proc. Expect a full weapon review of the Chameleon sometime in the near future, as I really want to get a better feel for it, do some testing versus other weapons in my inventory, and record enough footage to really give it a well thought out review. So just to reiterate, if you are looking for this weapon and the bounty farming method seems to be letting you down, head down to Lincoln Memorial today and take it on during challenge difficulty. Now besides the chameleons, look for better and better honey badgers, perfect weapons like the invisible hand and pyromaniac, and if it drops for you in the very first encounter, pick it up, restart the mission and just do it over and over. All right, that's gonna wrap up this quick video for me, and I am looking forward to reading your thoughts in the comment section below. If you could, please smash that sub button and click on the bell icon to receive all notifications from my YouTube channel. If you liked the video, rate it with a thumbs up. If not, a thumbs down. Check in the video description for links to my Patreon page and official merchandise store over on teespring.com. And until my next upload, this is Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer, signing off.